before we begin collimating i will be introducing you to some of the tools which we will be using now you have to understand that while collimating we have to look right from the center of the draw tube at the end of the focuser now we cannot do that precisely with our eye this is why we will be using the tools over here i have several tools starting with the simplest i have a simple sight tube it's made up out of simple uh, film canister it has a small peep hole to place your eye and there are no cross wires it's a hollow tube it can be simply made at home the next advanced tool is a cheshire eye piece there is no optical element inside it it's simple hollow tube with a cross wire at one end a small opening uh, for to let the light in and then this small hole is the peep hole once again to place our eye at the center of the optical axis of the eyepiece and then this one is the most advanced and expensive tool this will help you achieve the best focus it's called a laser collimator you can see a laser beam it's a fine laser beam which comes out of it and there's a screen on which you can see it when it comes back reflected from the mirrors of the telescope you could use any one of these uh, the more advanced the better it is but uh, suit your budget or rather i will suggest to increase your arsenal of equipment and accessories of telescope one by one in addition to the tools which i have mentioned it is also important that the center of the primary mirror is marked or spotted this acts as a reference point while doing the alignment with the help of these tools for the demonstration i will be collimating the optics of an 8 inch newtonian reflector telescope it's fairly easy the lining up of the optical components should be done in a simple and ordered sequence start at one end of the optical chain the eyepiece and then proceed in steps to the other without going back to readjust the previous part that is ideally speaking i give you now the four less known but classic steps to collimate your telescope first square the focuser it means to place the focuser at the right angles to the tube second center the secondary mirror as seen from the focuser third tilt the secondary mirror so that the reflection of the primary mirror is perfectly centered in it fourth tilt the primary mirror so that the reflection of the diagonal is perfectly centered let's begin with the first step squaring the focuser so i have marked a small white mark along the length of the tube at the exact center point of the focuser now i measure the distance of this mark from the front edge of the tube and uh, for this exercise i will have to remove the diagonal or the secondary mirror of the telescope close it to the focuser now i place the ruler back here and mark with this white pencil a small white dot at that precise position the 15.7 mm mark now we are looking inside uh, from the focusing tube and we can see the mark is placed almost in front of it but we have to verify this now we take the laser collimator and insert it inside the focuser and switch on the laser beam now i can see the white dot or the white cross i had made on the opposite wall of the telescope and right there is the dot you can see the laser dot is falling right on the cross which was placed exactly opposite to the focusing tube that means uh, luckily in my case uh, the uh, the focuser is exactly squared if this was not the case i would have had to adjust the four screws which are holding down the focuser and probably put some packing inside it to make make it perfectly square so let's move on to the next steps right now i have a camera pointing right into the focuser and i have made sure that the camera is precisely aligned along the uh, central axis of the focuser uh, actually you should be doing this step with those with those tools which i had shown but since i cannot exactly put a camera inside the peep hole of say a cheshire eyepiece uh, i will be doing uh, the demonstration like this 
So on the right hand side of the focuser, you can see the focusing knob and on the left hand side, you can see a thumb screw. Now we are zooming in. This is the inner rim of the focuser. This is the diagonal and this is the thickness of the diagonal. In the second step of the collimation, I have to center the circle of the diagonal in the inner rim. Now in my case, it seems like it is almost done except that the diagonal is little rotated. That calls for the third step. You can even notice that I can't see the reflection of the primary mirror inside the diagonal. So in the third step, I will rotate the diagonal or use the tilting screws to perfectly center the reflection of the primary mirror. So I'm rotating the secondary mirror and you can see the reflection of the primary is coming inside it. It is almost centered. Let me focus. Bingo! You can see the primary mirror right in the middle of the secondary. Uh, but what is this black disc? You can see that it seems that I have an oversized secondary mirror as there is this black margin around the primary. Actually this is good. I can move my eye from side to side and still see the complete primary mirror. This means that even the stars at the edge of the field of view will be using the full aperture of the primary which would have been cut off had I been using a smaller secondary mirror. Now in the final step, the fourth step, I will be tilting the primary mirror. Now I will move the three collimation nuts at the back of the mirror cell to center the black reflection of the secondary mirror. You can see the reflection of the secondary mirror here. And here we have a reference mark permanently marked right at the center of the primary. Voila! I am done and the telescope is ready to use. I am eager to go observing now.